Sir, I am stressed, messed, depressed, tortured, tormented, unhappy, miserable. Why? Because I am under the clutches of these nine planets. This goddamn planets don't leave me, especially the malefics like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, the lords of Dustanas, the sixth house, eighth house, twelfth house, or even even good planets when they are badly placed. Right? Terrible suffering. So how should I get out of the clutches of these nine planets? Do you also feel that you are in the clutches of the planets? The word Graha means one who puts Grahan, which means one who motivates your intelligence to go in a particular direction. All right. That is exactly what we are going to discuss today. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your family, friends or colleagues or anybody who thinks that they are under the clutches of these nine planets. And if you want a consultation from me, please go to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time, even though <laughs> the nine planets are capturing you. Just look to him and he will free you from the clutches. So, first of all, first and foremost, before anything, you need to get this cleared out. The planets are not capturing you. There is no capture here. The planets will only show our own past karma. This is something which people do not understand. That is why... In Kali Yuga, many youngsters uh, in the modern world, uh, they feel that astrology is a useless science or it's very fatalistic because it shows something which, uh, it shows certain things which are anyways not in our control, right? Why should we study it after all? And how, why should I uh, give the power of my life to some other planet, right? And that's perfectly legitimate. It's perfectly legal and logical and ethical and moral. Why should I give away my own power to somebody else, right? Well, you never had to give actually. So many times people think that, oh yeah, yeah, these planets are, you know, they are just uh, making a mess out of our lives. In fact, there was once a person who asked me, oh, this, these planets, do they have no job rather than, uh, other than, you know, creating a mess out of our lives? Is it like fun time for them? Is it like... A party time. Oh, yeah, yeah. These people are there from the earth. You know, let's give them some suffering. <laughs> so, is it the way or is, it, is there something else which I'm missing? So, therefore, first and foremost, you got to understand this, that no planet is giving you suffering, right? So, when you say somebody is giving you suffering, it, it is like saying you disassociate your own responsibilities and your karma you know, from yourself because they reflect the planets don't bestow they reflect already that which is within you so therefore first of all you need to get this out of your head that somebody is giving you suffering like every planet good or bad every planet shows suffering should i repeat every planet in some way shows suffering because every planet will Either be lording a Dustana or they will be placed in a Dustana or they will be aspected by lords of Dustanas or they will be aspected by a planet which is sitting in a Dustana house, right? You will never find any planet, any chart, very rarely will find because see, Saturn has three aspects. He sits somewhere. So he will cover four houses. Mars is sitting in one. He has again three aspects, right? So you have six houses covered. We have Then we have Rahu Ketu. They are also sitting, right? So, 7, 8, then Sun, Mars, uh, then, uh, sorry, Sun is also there, right? So, therefore, you see, you have 8 to 9 houses and then Sun will also aspect, right? Therefore, you have 8, 9 or 10, sometimes even, uh, or even if two malefics are together, at least 5, 6, 7 houses of the horoscope, which will be afflicted by malefics. Or even if they are not aspecting, Jupiter is the 8th Lord. Then he has three aspects, right? Then that aspect also has to be taken into account for suffering. So therefore, either the natural malefics or the temporary malefics, like the lords of the 6th, 8th and 12th, they will aspect or be conjunct or they will somehow, uh, they, they may uh, encourage the flow of the chart in a particular way, right? So therefore, you got to understand that you will never have 
a life without suffering. Why? 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 Because this material world, as Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, is a place of misery. Krishna says, Abrahma Bhuvana Loka Punaravarti no Arjuna. Yes. Which means even if you go to the topmost planetary system where Lord Brahma stays within this material world, which is known as Brahma Loka or which is known as Satya Loka, and if you come down like you know, Tapa Loka, Jnana Loka, uh, then to go above the current Loka, Bhu Loka, then there is you know, Mahal Loka, Bhuvar Loka, then uh, Swarga Loka, like so many planetary systems and even below seven planetary systems, right? Up to Patal. Atal, Vital, Sutal, Atal, Pat. <laughs> so all these 14, these are simply places of misery, right? Why? Because these are always time bound with restrictions. Like you may think, oh, going to the heaven is great, but it is certainly great only temporarily, right? And even though it is great, it is materially great, which means you have a lot of uh, pleasures which is materially bound, but it doesn't make the soul happy. The soul is searching for spiritual happiness. Okay. So therefore, even if you are going to a higher planetary system by doing, you know, so many yagyas or so many punya karmas, you will eventually be miserable because Krishna says, you know, chinne punya marte lokam vishanti. So once the piety is exhausted, you again come back to this buloka, to this earth, always, right? Now, the thing is, uh, then what, what should you do? So this is fundamentally you have to understand that I am responsible for the planets or placements, which means I am responsible for my own karma. And then once you are aware of this, then you have to know that I have the power to change uh, my own karma. Okay. This doesn't mean you have the power to change your own destiny. You cannot change your destiny. That's not possible. That which you have already done in the past cannot be changed. Okay. But at the least, you can do good karmas from this very moment by which you do not fall into the same trap of suffering again and again. But then the problem with this idea is even if you do good karmas, you will still suffer because you will, even though you do good karmas and then you get good things, but again, you have to take another birth to, you know enjoy those karmas and by that you will again get suffering then you might commit sinful activities which might uh, prolong your number of prolong the number of lifetimes that you stay in this material world right so then the question is what should you do how can you go beyond all this right so you have to take to spirituality very seriously if you really want to get out of good karma or bad karma so then when you do spiritual practices daily in your life, then what happens is you gradually disassoci start disassociating yourself from matter, which means whatever happens in the material world doesn't affect you much. Now you may say, oh yeah, anyways, you know, I stay in India, what happens in Zimbabwe or what happens in America anyways doesn't bother me. You know? Maybe what happens, uh, I stay maybe in uh, New Delhi, so what happens in Mumbai doesn't bother me, right? No, I'm not talking of arbitrary zones. I'm talking of things which are related to you and the things that you value, right? So uh, you may stay in New Delhi or you may stay in Sydney, Australia. You may stay in Los Angeles, uh, USA, wherever you stay. You will always have some possessions, right? Even a beggar has some possessions. What to speak of normal people or what to speak of rich people, right? So you have some possessions, you will have a partner, you will have parents, you will have children, you will have friends, you will have followers, yes, or you will have money, you will have car, home, so many things. These are the things directly related to you. So whatever happens in these aspects of your life will, will not bother you beyond a certain extent. Why? Because you will realize that Anyways, these things will one day fade away. Like for example, harsh truth, harsh reality. Will your parents be there with you always? No, right? Will your children be there with you always? They may be there till the time you are there, but then you may leave before them, right? And in some unfortunate situations, the children leave before their parents. Very unfortunate. Will your friends live with you eternally? Even if they do, you will not. 
will your car, your Maruti or your Mercedes Benz or whichever, <laughs> will that car stay with you eternally? Even if it does, you won't stay, right? So when you yourself will not stay in this world eternally, what will you do even if everything else is eternal, right? Even if everything stays for eternity, what will you, how will you make use of it? Because you yourself, me, myself, we ourselves, we are temporary. We are going to disappear one day. So after maybe 50, 60, 70, 80 years, uh, maybe this video is still there and you guys are watching this and maybe I am not there in this world. Right? Then maybe you will write in the comments, oh, see, he told and today he's not there in this world. right? So if I'm not there by that time, please uh, write down in the comments. Yes. So the thing is, you have to understand the fundamental principle that matter gets dissolved eventually. Matter is uh, temporary, okay? which means it does not stay after a certain point of time. Everything will go back into oblivion eventually, into matter, right? Into the earth, everything. That's the prime destiny of every body. But the good news is you are not the body. You are spirit soul, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita. Right, so you are eternal, you will never die, and your body will never live. Yes, you will never die, <laughs> even if this body dies, you will go to another body, depending on your karma. So, therefore, <clears throat> if you do spiritual practices every day, relentlessly, without fail, depending on what your guru has suggested to you. Not any random, useless, some bogus spiritual practice, right? What your authorized guru has suggested to you in the parampara, when you do that, then your spiritual elevation will gradually start, right? And then you will start realizing more and more that you are not this body, you are spirit soul, which means, okay, today I made a thousand dollars, great. I made one ten thousand, excellent. I made a million dollars, wow, out of the book. But tomorrow maybe something happened and I lost $10 million, maybe, suddenly, out of nowhere. Then it's also fine. <laughs> All right. So therefore, getting something material will not make you, it, it will still keep you grounded and you will make good decisions. Otherwise, you will always see people get too much money suddenly, like in lottery or you know by inheritance. Then what they, what do they do? Like the father or mother or the grandparents, they spend like their whole life saving every penny. And then they give it to their children or grandchildren. And then they just waste it. In two, three generations, the entire money is just finished. It gets, it gets wiped out completely, right? So, uh, therefore, you really need to understand that anything that makes you super happy will also make you super miserable. So, any acquisition materially is not worth uh, going to the cloud. Okay? So, therefore, the more you go to the clouds with some material achievement or success, the more you will feel pain when that thing is taken away from you or when you are, when you cannot enjoy that, right? So, you will fail, feel immense pain eventually, all right? So, therefore, you have to understand that inculcating a daily spiritual practice will help you control all the influence of the planets or whatever is there in your chart. Any malefic, Lord of Dustanas, natural malefic, functional malefic, temporary malefics, right? <laughs> all of them can be checked just by doing regular spiritual practice, right? And as a part of that, it is very essential that you aspire and you try to get up during the Brahma Murat one and a half hours before sunrise and do spiritual practices, do chanting of the mantras, very essential, right? In the morning, then reading the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, very, very, very crucial, very essential, okay? So let's uh, read one shloka from the Bhagavad Gita. Oops, some, mm -hmm. some, random, some random shloka I'll be reading from. Oops, I don't know if you can see, right? <laughs> All right. So some random shloka we'll be reading. Okay. So this is fourth chapter. Lord Krishna is speaking to Arjuna. Fourth chapter. 
fourth chapter 42nd verse all right krishna is saying therefore the doubts which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge armed with yoga o bharata stand and fight right so what is krishna telling here to arjuna this is some random verse from the fourth chapter so this is such a beautiful verse like every other verse krishna is telling here therefore the doubts which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance why do you get doubts because of ignorance tamogun should be slashed with the weapon of knowledge he also says you know gyana deepena bhasvata ha right later on he says that so the thing is now he says armed with yoga o bharata stand and fight so krishna is inspiring arjuna to fight and kill the kauravas for a right cause okay so when you read the shlokas and when you uh, read the shrimad bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam is a combination of uh, past times of god which he had with his devotees which shows how the nature of god is so the bhagavad gita tells you who is god right bhagavad gita tells you who is god shrimad bhagavatam tells you how is god <laughs> right when pit bhagavad gita tells you who is god and bhagavatam tells you how is god right so krishna unanimously declares that he is the supreme personality of god and bhagavatam explains how is krishna how is his nature right how does he behave how does he interact with people right so therefore gradually you will develop the spiritual connection with god and by that you will realize that yes uh, matter was always like this sometimes it goes up sometimes it goes down this doesn't mean that you are uh, you are demotivated to go towards material success you can be a billionaire you can be the most handsome person you can be the most uh, famous person in this world but understand that it will be temporary for some time only you will not be there always okay and when you understand this then you will realize that the problems the pain and the suffering that i am having today will anyways come one day even if they are taken away from because one day either i will die or they will be taken away from me suddenly right but by that time if we reach to such a spiritual maturity and we uh, cultivate our spiritual wisdom and we inspire ourselves to uh, become more and more spiritually enlightened and awakening awakened by the association of words of lord krishna which we can get from the bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam the ramayan mahabharat and in the weekends by associating with members of your spiritual community then you can really make extraordinary spiritual progress and by that if anything good is there you will enjoy and if anything bad is there you won't be miserable beyond what you should be all right so that is how you will get out of the clutches of the planets all right <laughs> but remember there are no clutches it is we and our own destiny and our karmas all right thank you very much ladies and gentlemen some other videos on karmas and destiny i'll put it up here if you like you can watch them and if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation please go to my website down in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him